Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I am reviewing and revisiting the Karma Soap. So here it is in the 100 gram size. Uh, unfortunately, Lush are phasing out these older style individual 100 gram um, design uh, soaps. They are going to be doing more of a slice format from now on. So you may get a different um, style of soap when you do order from Lush.com or when you go into the shops, just to let you know. But the ingredients for this product are water, rapeseed oil, uh, glycerine, uh, coconut oil, perfume, extra virgin coconut oil, patchouli oil, Brazilian orange oil, lavender oil, pine oil, lemongrass oil, uh, alimi oil, gardenia extract, uh, and some other bits and pieces. So I did do a review on this very, very early in my channel, maybe about a year or so ago. And I did want to revisit this purely because my thoughts on the Karma scent have changed quite a bit. And I thought, hey, I'm buying a block of this soap. I might as well just do a quick review and update for you. So I now really, really like the Karma scent. In the beginning, I didn't really like the patchouli side to it. I think patchouli is one of those things that you either love or you hate. Um, and some people are very, very particular on scent like I am. But I can tell you now, the more I do reviews and the more I try new things from the Lush range, I, yeah, I, I tend to have some of my opinions change a little bit. And I am now the type of person that if patchouli is done right, I actually quite enjoy it. I used to think it smelled just like hippies and that was all there was to it. I was kind of like, this is a bit too hippie for me, a bit too 70s a bit too much peace, love and all of that, <laughs> which kind of sounds very weird because there's never enough peace and love in this world, honestly. But um, it just wasn't my sort of scent. I didn't like it for me. I, I thought it was that sort of scent I could see on so many other people or so many other people enjoying, but it just wasn't for me. But I really like it now. I really do. And this is definitely one of my top fives. And I'll tell you why. The formula of this is really, really good. It's my favorite formula. I'm assuming it's very similar in formula to Honey, I Wash the Kids soap because that is my number one all-time soap. This is probably a number two. I mean, that is how much I've grown to love this soap and that is why I've had to update this because it is definitely in my top five now and probably my top two. Um, it is a nice firm soap. Um, so when you use it, it doesn't feel like you're losing a lot of product when you use it. It is quite economical. I get a ton, a ton of washes out of one of these. Um, and I just love how it smells kind of sweet with the orange and, oh, it's just beautiful. And the patchouli is so well blended into this and you do get that sort of pine smell as well. So it's got um, that sort of earthy herbal side to it as well. Now, in terms of the other ingredients, I never get lemongrass from it. I never get sort of any lavender in it or alimi or anything like that. I think they're sort of there just in the background. Alimi oil tends to give it a more of a fruit-like smell. Um, I've noticed that in a lot of products that smell a lot like berries or peaches. Um, so they tend to give that sort of sweet um, fruit-like smell to it as well. And Lavender is another one that is a great background uh, oil to have because it just lifts everything up and it gives everything a little bit more of a herbal touch. Um, so, yeah, and lemongrass is another one that if you only add a little bit, it just sort of rounds out the scent and it gives it a bit more of a zing as well. So, yeah, it, it is such a well-blended scent. It is definitely one of my favorites and it is a classic at Lush. So people who have been shopping at Lush for a while will tell you that Karma is a classic scent. And most people do like Karma. Um, if you're very, very sensitive to patchouli, I don't recommend it. But there you go. So, yeah, it is definitely a 5 out of 5 product. I'm so, so sad that they're not doing it in um, these individual formats anymore. I'm guessing it's a pricing thing or something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure. But I am going to miss the days when they used to have them um, like this for, well, in Australia, they do them like this for online orders for the hundred grams in store. They still cut them from a block. Um, but they are sort of synchronizing all the lush soaps to be in a block form. Um, and yeah, it's kind of sad cause I do like the individuality of the bits and pieces of soaps and things that you do get and you collect. So 
little bit disappointed about that, but that is not the soap's fault and it, it'll still be a fantastic soap um, in block form. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support I get on this channel. Please stay tuned for more Lush reviews. I'm always pumping out new Lush content. So uh, consider subscribing and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.